Today we're gonna solve this equation that might seem trivial at first, but in reality it isn't. Well, actually it is not that difficult, we just have to introduce a new function. I'll explain everything in a moment, but now let's just try to solve it. So having x to the x equals 3, we have x as an exponent, so you might think we could apply the natural log on both sides to get rid of the exponent. So let's do it. So let's do it. Natural log of x to the x equals the natural log of 3. So x times the natural log of x equals the natural log of 3. But now, how can we isolate x? We have x inside the natural log function and we have x outside the natural log function. So, well, it's a bit tricky right now. How can we isolate x in order to solve this equation? Well, first of all, if we have a function f of x equals e to the x, we know that its inverse is the natural log of x and the function of the inverse function is just equal to e to the natural log of x that equals x and at the same time the inverse function of the function equals the natural log of e to the x that equals x. But now, if our function is g of x that equals x times e to the x, we could define its inverse, so g inverse of x, as w of x. W of x, it's called the Lambert W function, and it's the inverse function of x times e to the x. But why is it useful? Well, because, as we said earlier, the function of the inverse function just equals x. The function of the inverse function, so W of x times e to the W of x, just equals x. And, at the same time, we know that the inverse function of the function, so w of x times e to the x, equals x. Now let's focus on this formula right here. Because if we get something similar to this, something times e to the something, we get x. So let's go back to our equation. We know that e to the natural log of x, the function of the inverse function, just equals x. So we can write this x as e to the natural log of x. So let's do it. e to the natural log of x times the natural log of x equals the natural log of 3. Now we can even reorder this, but it's the same thing. The natural log of x times e to the natural log of x equals the natural log of 3. But now we have natural log of x here times e to the natural log of x and this is the same as w of x times e to the x that equals x. Well instead of x there is the natural log of x. But what happens if we apply the Lambert w function to both members? Well if the Lambert W function of x times e to the x gives us x. The Lambert W function of the natural log of x times e to the natural log of x gives us the natural log of x. And as we know, this equals to the Lambert W function of the natural log of 3. Now, how can we find x? It's easy, we know that x equals e to the Lambert W function of the natural log of 3. And this is our final answer. And if you plug this number into your calculator, you get approximately 1.8255, etc. 
And this is how we solve those types of equations using the Lambert W function. It's very interesting. It behaves like the natural log function, but it's more powerful when we have to deal with those functions. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. So until next time, bye.